So I'm in a glass box of emotion, to be fair, with, with Andor this week, um, because I'm loving it, but nothing happens. <laughs> Bonjour. So, Andor this week. Uh, we, we start off. We start off with Old Miss Sneary. Like where last week left off, we start this week with with Little Miss Sneary on Bix. Oh my God, is she? For she is marvellous. I've got to admit, at the beginning, I thought it was going to be. Perhaps I didn't give her a chance. Right, I'll put my hand up. I put my hand up and say. I didn't give uh, the actress, the actress, and the character a chance. I don't think I ever gave her a hard time as an actress, but I didn't think the character was going anywhere. I did think it was a very, very one-dimensional. But I've got to say, oh, she's loving the role, and I'm loving her, loving it, because oh, and especially Bix as well. Oh, bless her. You know, we all well, if you're heterosexual and middle aged oh, I don't know. Anyway, we don't go there. Anyway, with Bix as well, you're thinking, oh no, no, not Bix. Yeah, Bix, and they've done the door closing again and down and the feet. I, I, I do like that little bit. I know it's a bit over. And Dr. Ghost with his smile. And I know they're going down. For a geeky old hog who, who's seen it all, it's that they're doing like the Germans. This is literally like a World War Two story with uh, the underground fighters in uh, and the, you know the French resistance fighters being helped by the English and the Americans into you know intelligence MI5 and, and the SSI ISS sorry that they called it in the second world war and Dr. Gorst is the introduced as the torturer but how they do it how they do it and how they achieve it I, I thought was was great from Oh, little Miss Sneary. Oh, her manner, her mannerisms, and lean, leaning in with her straight back. She's got this straight, this didn't even arch up, just leaning in to, to accentuate certain points into Bixie's ear. And, ah, it's great. Then we're back to the prison again. And I've got to admit that the way they're doing this prison, I'd like to see a whole film set there. If, if at the end of the 12 episodes, is it that, that uh, that they're doing I'll tell you what taping all those scenes together in the prison and the build up I, I, I'd be well up for that and then that's where the music comes into its own as well they've got this nightmarish vision vision sorry put me oh I've got new teeth in they've got this nightmarish vision of it and of the events that happened this week Oh well, I've got to say, <laughs> one of them I saw coming, the old boy, the old boy. I did say spoilers on the thumbnail and that as well, didn't I? So, um, Olaf's death. I mean, the old boy getting it. You kind of knew a bit like when they they showed you the red lights in another. In was it last week or the week before? The red light, and you know someone's going to get it. You know someone's going to jump because it's pure. That's what it is, and there's nothing wrong with that. When they're fulfilling, and I know old Dismal like to say subverting expectations, no, do you know what? For a change, you are kind of more or less delivering what you're setting up, which is good, it's fine. Thumbs up, points out of 10, whatever it is, what, it, it, it is good. You, like I say, the, mu the music, again, that synthy, you know, and I'm kind of, in a way, I'm feeling like I'm repeating myself from last week. And I make my little notes, and I've got to admit that was really short and sweet because I thought, well, yeah, I was, I was thinking as I was doing them, well, yeah, that was good last week. That was so, that was good. There's more of that this week. Yeah, there's, there's more of everything this week, and I know it's building up. And there's a lot of, and it's all good. Don't get me, it's all, and again, I'm repeating myself. It is uh, my Mothma and those scenes that, mm, except this. It became relevant this week, which is good. I, in fact, I won't give it. I won't do a spoiler for that bit. It, it was quite a. It was quite a nice surprise. Oh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Cyril, oh come on, 
still the star of the show. He gets, he goes <laughs> off the scale, creepy this week. And the mum, and I know these guys, everything else they've set up, the mum's got to get it. Cyril's mum has got to get it. Now, I'm not saying he's going to strangle her to death, which he probably would have done. If he was going to do it, I think he would have done that by now, didn't you? But I think we're all going to cheer. We're going to see her get it one way or another. And we're all going to cheer. Because she's one of the villains of the piece, this woman. Oh, my God. I've never heard of how they've set that up. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. And in the meanwhile, they, they, they are kind of still keeping it. You know, they're still keeping it Star Wars-ish. The little bits running through. Maybe not as many elements this week, maybe. But I wasn't really looking for that, because I'm just enjoying this as a sci-fi show more than a Star Wars show, if, if I'm perfectly honest. And, but again, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, there could be loads more Star Wars in it, but then does that lead to more kiddified stuff? I don't know. And I'll people up for doing that, because I'm really liking the adult, approach that all these the, the, the people involved with making this are taking I'm, I really am enjoying it and Cyril and I, I, I've done a thumbnail for last week's video just joking around with Cyril and Miss Sneary but this week ooh, is, is, is there a burgeoning romance <laughs> oh I don't know that's just what I thought, I thought oh yeah this will be the weirdest love story in in sci-fi history if they do that and there has been plenty there has been plenty um, but so that is all the good stuff and it far outweighs it is good and I do recommend if you haven't watched it and sorry if I've given you too many spoilers but if you haven't watched it I do recommend I do recommend going to see it but here's the, here is the one thing not a lot happens again now I know I've just gushed about it but I've got to say this guy is, this could all have been it is all more of the same. It's only when you've watched another 35, 40 minutes, and it does go quick. But, I've got, you know, we're no further forward after this episode. I'm, I'm loving the prison scenes. I, I did say last week that I think the Mon Mothma scenes could be cut, and I know they're not leaving anything in that isn't relevant. But they're not taking their time making a point. Whatever part, whatever scenes they are, they, I think they're just taking too much time making a point. If, if this was tighter, if this had more experienced TV editorial oversight, God, this could have been... You imagine, this is rolling on for 12 episodes. You imagine if this was a as tight as a gnat's arse six episodes. If it was as tight as that, God, that would have been some action packed it might have been 15 minute episodes whatever it is that would have oh, that would have been I think that would have been fantastic and I know I've banged on about format and all that so I ain't going to go there again but like I say I will sum up by saying I'm loving this show more each week but not a lot's happening again and it's, it's almost like the same format as the, the first six episodes where the you know, it's that same template again, where we, we was all going, oh, get the heist done, for God's sake. Well, at the moment, I'm saying, oh, get out of prison, for God's sake. But it is all coming good. It's all coming good. Um, Andy Serkis, again, he is such a good actor. I've got to say, he's such a good actor, that guy. I'm some, and I know he has done his bits and bobs, uh, post Lord of the Rings. I'm still surprised we don't see him a lot more unless he doesn't want that, I don't know. But he must want to act, otherwise he wouldn't pop up here, would he? But yeah, it's all it's all good. All good stuff as far as I'm concerned. And um, I'm gonna leave it there. I think that's about, I think I've covered about everything I need to. And I until next week, I will bid you adios. Mm -hmm.